My name is Kevin Monaghan. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist uh, based in clinical practice at St. Mark's Hospital in Harrow and also an honorary senior clinical lecturer at Imperial College in London. All gastroenterologists can be enthusiastic about genomics now in a way that they weren't perhaps able to be five or ten years ago because gastroenterologists have access to genomic testing in the clinic room and have access to a network of support. Many conditions are inherited in a familial fashion and therefore it's common that there may be a family history, however it may not have been fully characterised and making a genetic diagnosis can have a significant implication on um, what we can do to try and protect that individual as well as their siblings, their parents and more distant relatives. By making a diagnosis in that individual you can then offer genetic testing or clinical testing to identify other people in the family who's, who are affected. Understanding people who are at high risk of developing disease such as cancer means that we can target interventions effectively in that population. For example, people with Lynch syndrome who have a 30 to 60 percent lifetime risk of colorectal cancer. If we can diagnose people with Lynch syndrome through a process of genomic testing before they have a diagnosis of cancer, then we can protect them by employing interventions such as colonoscopy to prevent or diagnose cancer early. In, in those individuals who have Lynch syndrome, they are susceptible to different forms of chemotherapy and immunotherapy uh, to other people with colorectal cancers. There are other ways that they may be treated differently which improve their likely as the outcomes, and particularly survival from this, this diagnosis, but also help to reduce their risk of having adverse events because of the sometimes toxic therapies which may not be beneficial specifically in these individuals. It's obviously very important to understand diseases that run in families, however what we encounter every day in clinic are a range of common diseases, not just cancer but celiac disease and inflammatory bowel disease. When we assess someone's risk of a disease because they have certain features, for example a patient who's referred with bloating and diarrhoea, um, who has biopsies from the small bowel which indicate that they may have celiac disease, then um, we will sometimes do a blood test to see if they have antibodies which would be consistent with this condition. However, we can also offer a different type of risk assessment by understanding the genetic risk factors for that condition. We commonly in clinic use HLA typing, which is a, a way of assessing whether someone is susceptible to celiac disease. And if that test is negative, we can say to that individual that all the biopsies suggested that you may have celiac disease, you don't, and you can eat gluten for the rest of your life because you're almost certainly never going to develop celiac disease. Adverse drug reactions in the whole of medicine is an extremely important area and we're increasingly understanding the role of genomics and predicting those who are likely to be susceptible. A good example of this is that we use a drug very frequently in people with inflammatory bowel disease called azathioprine and we know that because of variation in the TPMT gene which metabolizes this drug, people can have very different reactions to this medication and some of these reactions can be extremely dangerous and ha hazardous to those individuals. So we have to understand at the outset when we're considering the use of such medication which people are, uh, carry these genetic variants which would affect their likely outcome and the risk of adverse drug reactions. What I'm most excited about for the future of genomics and gastroenterology is how we can translate what we understand about the basic science of disease and who's susceptible into personalised therapies. We can improve care for our patients uh, and understand why people get disease and use that information to try and change their outcomes in a way that we weren't able to do five or ten years ago.